I have to admit, you have been one tough nut to crack. And while it is as cliche thing to say, we have ways of making you talk. Ah, RimWorld. When someone says RimWorld, two things come to mind. Eating without a table and war crimes. Today we're going to talk about the horrible ways you can go against the Geneva Convention in RimWorld. Keep that in mind in RimWorld. So sit back, relax, maybe take a few notes as we go over plenty of fun mods to make your campaign of destruction that much more enjoyable. Starting off, we are going to need some victims. That's where Raid for Me comes in. Just call up some nation who doesn't like you on the phone. Say their mother is so fat their D&D miniature is a grapefruit and watch them come right into your kill boxes. It's like ordering delivery. Your order of long pork arrives in four hours or the next butt whooping is free. For real though, great mod for testing defenses or just shaking things up. Just be careful not to summon too much as once your fort and maybe your PC might not be able to handle it. Next we need some workers and I can think of no better evil minion than the minion xenotype. You laugh, but remember minions canonically work with all of history's villains. Huh? Remind me to ask them what they were doing during the Great Emo War. Just remember these little idiots aren't that smart or good in melee. But hey, sometimes you need someone in the base to cook, clean, and you know, load up the turrets to grind down solicitors. And while you're setting up your evil base, why not enjoy a cup of Yorkshire tea? All evil British people enjoy a good cup of tea and some cakes to go with them as they work to take over the world. Great mod for keeping pawns' moods happy while you take over the rip. So, sow those fields, boil the water, oh, and prepare the human meat and leather for your cakes and enjoy your time out on the rim. Though the award for one of the most evil weapons has to go to Mechanite Plague, straight up takes a page out of Xenomorph's handbook and infects people with a Mechanite Plague that releases swarms of little mechs that continue to infect people. I'm serious, this is terrifying on top of also causing corpses to rot which can trigger lung rot. This is a biological mechanical weapon that any self-respecting nation would ban. Good thing out on the rim we aren't self-respecting. Though word of advice, combo this with VE Mechanoids to make a butcher factor. Doesn't matter if the meat is rotten, you can still use it with it, somehow. Guess feeding rotten canned human meat would also count. Yeah, put that up as a 4.5 war crime. So one of Bren's favorite mods is Gas Traps and Shells mod. And I can see why. You get a great variety of weaponized gas shells that range from lethal and non-lethal. Stuff like sleeping gas is great for weakening targets for easy kills or even for capture. Acid for damage over time, rage gas for hilarity. Oh, and anti-mech and insectoid gas is a godsend. With the mech gas screwing them up and making them go haywire and the insectoid gas just killing them. Best part is even add-ons like the chemshine shells. Chemshine, if you don't know, is a great alcohol made of chem fuel. That when drunk makes your explode like a boomerang if you die. Now you turn the effect into a gas and you get human fireworks. Then there is the cryo gas. Nothing like a flash freezing enemies to put a smile on your face, especially in the summer. Yeah, great all around mod for us who like to fire on people who keep coming onto our property. Though if you want something that's a little more far out, man, try the kind of auto bomb, a weapon that uses the auto bomb system of spreading peace and love. Now weaponized. Yeah, the first thing people saw when ideology came out was the auto bong and how to weaponize it. Needless to say, slipping the enemies some of the good stuff is both hilarious and useful. Now, if you want to bring the toxicity to the front line, well first, you could go onto Twitter. But barring that, you could try the tox weapons. Weapons, while slightly weaker than normal vanilla counterpart, have a cool toxic build-up mechanic. Awesome for waster playthroughs if you just want to go that extra mile to going full over the top villainy. Seriously, if someone came at me with a sword made of cancer, I'd drop a few bricks, and now you get to have your opponents experience that kind of fear. Now, if you want more non-lethal options to capture prisoners, why not profit off of them? Prisoner labor is a classic mod of forcing prisoners of war to hard labor. Sure, you could enslave them, but maybe it's more fun to run chain gains in Rimworld. Still holds up after all these years and is still fun to have. A nice work hard for your malcontents. Of course, some people in the colony might see the prisoners as human, so why not change their opinion with no sympathy for prisoners? After all, they did try to raid us. Why should we treat them with any respect? Now, anything that happens to them won't affect the colony morale. Why not also add in beat your prisoners continued? Take your frustrations on your prisoners, all while working to break their will. Just keep in mind, if your jailer is taken down from beating them, there is a chance for a prison break. So, keep in mind if you keep a huge yard. Got slaves or prisoners that need work, but not enough power in the colony. How about using their legs for more than just body 
honeypot harvesting. Try the human power generator. Yeah, my writer Brent looks at this and his legs hurt. Mm -hmm. There is also the benefit of boosting melee skill. Guess exercise is good for some pawns, war crime or not. Though sometimes you might have some prisoners that need a little more encouragement in the colony, try the execute expanded torture devices. Yeah, this is just straight up a bunch of evil ways to go medieval on some prisoners. Stuff like Iron Maidens, grinders, spikes, and even furniture that masochists will love. The best or worst thing is the counts as entertainment too. Yeah, sometimes I worry about everyone on the workshop quite a bit actually. My word. I try not to judge. Alright, maybe there are easier ways to convert pawns. Uncle Boris Brainwash Chair lets you go full CIA on pawns. Just set up the chair in a room with a TV. Bring the prisoner in and watch them go into a coma. Works to break wills, even undying loyalty, or even changing their traits and passions. Interesting. Actually, that wasn't too bad or cursed, plus pretty easy enough to use in a colony. I like this. Oh gosh. So the next one, uh, Milkable Colonists. Bren here with the curse stuff. Yeah. Milkable Colonists lets you make drugs that induce milking. Ugh. Use it on colonists or prisoners and just declare war on all things decent in the world. Good stuff. Moving on. Suppose if we are on the subject of evil ways to abuse prisoners and colonists, time harvesting would be up there. After all, using psi powers to literally age an opponent or make them so young they are easy to fight or heck straight out out stealing years from them. That's a crime against nature. Can see how there is a use in it, especially in colonies with ideologies that like young or old pawns. Perhaps for role-playing purposes, perhaps you don't like putting people in biogenerators. Either way, killing time feels like a war crime to me. The Luciferium expansion gave us all a way to make Luciferium in a balanced way. It also gave us a way to continue our campaign of war crimes against other nations. Think about it. We hop up our entire colony on this stuff and now send super soldiers in to keep fighting fighting everyone. Pretty sure this is a war crime, or at least should be. More so if you decide to instead feed prisoners in this stuff and then let them go. Not our problem anymore if they can't find more of the drugs. Okay, okay, I know what you want. The war crimes expanded too much. I mean, come on, it's the name, so of course it's gonna be on the list. You got mutilations, you got surgeries, you got implants and growths to force into your victims. Mutilations are what they sound like, stuff like throwing acid on their face or intentionally causing damage. Surgeries come in many flavors, which actually train your pawns when they do it. I mean, it's like live practice. Implant our devices to cause trouble for the victim, like preventing sleep, making them more aggressive, more likely to vomit, etc. And gross, let you farm Nutramine from them, or perhaps increase their meat growth for the farms. Also, this mod has ideology support, so you can make an ideology devoted to or against the bad stuff. Though, to be fair, if you are downloading this mod, I'm pretty sure we know what you plan to do. So, for more defensives, how about Punji Sticks? Continued. A classic simple trap of spikes and pits, all while going against the Geneva Convention. No, seriously, this stuff was banned in the 1980s by the Geneva Convention and for good reason here. Cheap to make, a chance to cause the plague, and of course tons of bleeding. A nasty design, but hey, it works. Know what else is a war crime? Eating without a table. So to prevent that horrible, horrible debuff, I use a mod that causes eating without a table to just straight up kill you. After all, you can't have a mood debuff if you're dead, right? With a more serious tone, clowns. Everyone knows there is nothing to fear but fear itself and clowns, of course. Look at them. Evil psychos and your colony can be a part of this twisted group of individuals who want to ruin all that is nice. And honk honk horns. Pretty sure use of clowns is banned by the Geneva Convention. If not, it really, really should be. I demand it. Rim of Madness Cults. Ah, now something more wholesome. Cults. Yep, nothing wrong here. Just a friendly neighborhood cult who works to make life a better place. Farming, cooking, having fun, get-togethers. Yep, a nice wholesome place. Indeedy. Oh, I mean for the people in the cult. For everyone else, they are just tools to aid in their machinations. Don't need to explain why summoning great eldritch gods from beyond the stars with human sacrifice goes against any laws of war. It's pretty messed up. Vanilla expanded genetics lets you create all sorts of nightmarish beasts, like the chicken buffalo. Okay, maybe not all of them are horrible, but seriously, have you seen some of the stuff you could make? Especially anything involving human hybrids. That isn't just a war crime, it's a crime against nature and God itself. Adding in the many other animal mods like alpha animals and the eldritch horrors mod, you have more variety of weird battle mounts or just conversation pieces to roam around your base. Quite a grand conversation piece if I do say so myself. 
Of course, if you want to get up close and personal, try the Doom mod, a supply of arms and armor by Chicken Plucker, ready to let your pawns rip and tear until it's done. Though I should mention a fun fact. The original Doom guy was sent to Mars because he killed his commanding officer after being ordered to attack civilians. Then when the demons attacked, they killed his pet rabbit, Daisy. Yeah, you know what? This is the one time where going full war crime is an A-OK -okay in my book. Of course, that's not the only colonist you could have in your colony. If you got biotech, you could have children, and children are the future. Soldiers of your colony. So get some child-sized power armor, a rifle, and put that kid out on the front line. Naturally, this goes against all conventions, but to put a child into a military conflict. But hey, at least while you do it, the kids will look good while doing it, and be protected, hopefully. Still better than the public education system. And to top it off, you can use our Everyone Can Work mod that we have commissioned on the workshop. It's a great mod and will help you get even more out of these pawns. Now, if you want to supply your war effort, you need a lot of power. And one good way to get power is through chem fuel. Rimfeller is the classic drilling mod to get you all the chem fuel you will need. Though the best part, more than the potential power, is the fire. Napalm is one of the meanest weapons you could use against an enemy. Once it's ablaze, it's gonna take a lot of effort to snuff that flame out. By then, your enemies will be nice and well done steak. Highly effective for kill boxes or just launching via mortar shells. Either way, the flaming gift that keeps giving. Hey, remember the emu war? Uh, I think the raiders figured out how to tame them. With raider emus continued, raiders now have a chance to arrive with their own living raptors with scrap armor. Tough birds to kill, but hey, when we set out to make this list, we had to include things that could war crime you too. Rats. Vermin to some, but in our case, a deadly weapon. Release the rats. Give them one important tweak. Give them intelligence of intermediate, meaning we can train these rats for release. So what do we do? Breed them, train them, and then unleash the horde. I don't care what kind of armor you have, hundreds of rats can and will annihilate you. And with how common they are, and how easy they will be to tame and keep alive with corpse freezers, I think we got weapons of mass infestation right here. Oh yes indeed. Of course, if you want something to unleash Doomsday, try the aptly named Doomsday Weapons, a series of jokish weapons that don't care about balance or the sanctity of life. So go on, rip and tear, go in guns a-blazing, and have a good time, or you know, wield the katana and pretend it's war fray. Either way, have fun. With biotech came the power to make mechanoids for ourselves. But someone thought, let's make better humanoid variants. That person is more than likely shot, because pretty sure making cute anime girl-inspired mechanoids is against all known laws of the universe, even if they are better than normal mechanoids and can haul and clean. No idea where my writer Bren keeps finding them, I think he may have a problem. But hey, any problem can be solved with a few bits of split atoms. The nukes mod gives you what you think it does. Nukes. Lots of them. Big ones, small ones, some as big as your head. Give them a a flick of the wrist, and that's what me, Newbert, said. Heh. <laughs> but here is the best part. Of course, you can launch them from some mortars. Yes, they work. Perhaps you want to bring the fun to your enemy's home. Well, with they and held mortars add on, you can have your pawns hand deliver death like you are playing Fallout. Ain't no kill like overkill. And pretty sure we went over the top at least four videos ago. Alright, next has to be SRTS. With the airships, you have the power to airdrop all sorts of nasty things on enemy bases, be it the normal bomb the nukes, the gas stuff, or heck, just some pissed off super soldiers. The ultimate in warfare, I can think of no better topper. Plus, you know, I gotta share that one clip of us bombing the weebs. They knew what they did. Now, I know what you're thinking. Aren't I forgetting something? A certain faction that haunts many Rimworlders' nightmares. Yeah, I know about Mr. Void. We've talked about him many, many times in the past. Though here is the thing. The world is evolving and there's possibly more horrible things out there than him. In fact, we might have a lot to talk about in a future video. Beware. So, aside from the possible watch list me and Bren might be on after this, I think we had a good time. If we have any mods we miss that may fit the criteria of the war crimes, let us know, and of course, keep on making the Rimworld community proud with all the horrible things you do to raiders who want our corn. And make sure you like the video, it helps us know we're doing a good job. 